Revolution and the historian was from the Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. Good night, Dominica. Good night, labor rights. I am very, very happy to be here tonight to stand on this Dominica Labor Party's platform and to join the rest of my colleagues who will, on December 6, continue to make you proud. Continue to make you proud of being part of a wonderful country developed under the stewardship of Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt and the Dominican Labor Party. So tonight, friends, Cardinago Braves, from all the way from Wakama to Pegua, I'd like to welcome the Honorable Prime Minister, a true friend a true brother, and as a matter of fact, like Honorable Cassani Laville, he has some Kalinago blood because he hails from the, the village of Viecas, which was an original Kalinago settlement. So, brothers and sisters of the Salibe constituency, you now have three Kalinago Braves on this stage tonight. And for this, I am very, very thankful. But, friends, comrades, I'm also very grateful. I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve people. It's a very humbling situation. It's a very humbling task to serve people. And when we look at the team on the stage, when you look at the speakers before me, Honorable Cassius Daru, Honorable Kelly Grano, these two wonderful, powerful men have served, and they have done their part. And I'm really proud to continue in their footsteps, to continue the work that they started with Comrade Dr. Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt in 2000 to ensure that the Kalinago community, that the Salibia constituency continue to grow and grow to a point where it will be envious to other villages across this space. And so friends, I'm happy to stand in their footsteps. I'm happy that they have empowered me with their vision and their support. And we are united in this Salibe constituency. We are united more than ever for labor. Because if labor dead, we dead. And because labor is the only choice. I also I want to thank my family. I want to thank my biological relatives, the blood family. But more importantly, I want to thank the labor family. And my labor family comes from Kapushin all the way to Kashaku. My labor family comes all the way from St. Joseph to Kasebrus. And all the villages in between. So I'm happy to be here to see the sea of red and to be with you, my labor family. So the people of Salibe constituency, you can see that you have friends. You can see that you have family of labor. And so those of you from the Salibe constituency who are in this crowd here, just look around and you will see a labor right. And when you see that labor right, you see a true friend. You see a friend who comes from across the country and come into your wonderful space to share this moment with you. I'm so I, I'm thankful for these brothers and sisters that we have support from across the country. But friends, but friends, I also want to, tonight, thank the Honorable Prime Minister for giving me this opportunity to start the journey in 2019 and to see in me someone who can carry on the journey forward. So tonight, I want to thank officially Honorable Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt for the opportunity he has afforded me to stand here and to be part of this wonderful Dominica Labour Party. Friends, friends, comrades, I can't do this alone. I cannot do this mission alone. And when I started the mission in 2019, I had a team around me, a team of powerful people, powerful women. And tonight, I want to thank them. And tonight, I'm a bit sad, though, because 
the hard work that this team have been doing for the last two and a half years, some people have criticized them. Some people have said a lot of dirty things about them. And, and, and tonight is a shameful thing for anyone who wants to be in office to form lies and share deceitful information about my colleagues and my friends. So I'm sad about this. But I, am, I will be happy on December 6th when we teach them a lesson. When we teach them a lesson and vote for the Dominican Labour Party. And vote for the party that will continue the development of the Saliba constituency. So, so my simple message for you who are out there spreading lies and deceitful messages, time will tell. Time will tell. And to say, friends, that I have committed from my journey, from my journey in 2019, to represent every single person from Wakama to Pegra. I've tried my best to represent people from Sineku, Mahu River, Gollet River, Sensi, Salibia, Crevish River, Badaka, Atkinson, Antrizel, and Concord. I have tried, friends. Because, because like the Honorable Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt, I understand that for a long time in our history, we have not gotten an equal part of our development. And so, I am delighted, I'm very happy to see all the wonderful folks here. And, and when I scanned the crowd about half an hour ago, I saw people from every single one of those, those hamlets. And so, I am happy. And so, friends, friends, on December 6th, on December 6th, you have to ensure that Sally Beer is in the bag. You have to ensure that Sally Beer stays with the Dominican Labour Party. Because the Dominican Labour Party understands your dreams. The Dominican Labour Party understands your aspirations. The, the Dominican Labour Party understands your needs. And so friends, I do not want you to take this election lightly. We have an opposition in disguise. We have an opposition acting like a ghost. And so, you need to come out in large numbers on December 6th to ensure that the Dominican Labour Party gets the full mandate, the full mandate beyond the shadow of any doubt to continue the work that we started. So the people of Salibia, I am Kozia Frederick, and I need your vote. I need your vote on December 6th to continue the work that I started. To continue the work to ensure that everyone within that space gets proper housing. To continue to build on our infrastructure, our road networks. And right here, friends, we are, ha we are having this wonderful celebration on the site of the new and upcoming multi-purpose emergency shelter. Right on this site. So a year from now, a year from now, we will see this wonderful structure that will showcase our Kalinago architecture. And so, you are now in a very sacred space. And I appreciate you for, for that. Brothers and sisters, we know for a fact that labor is not just still the only choice. Labor is the only choice. We know labor is the only choice because labor understands development. Labor understands your needs. Labor understands your dreams. And labor understands your 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 needs. Friends, we have to continue the work. And so we'll continue. So do not take this lightly because we need the mandate after December 6 to continue the work we've been doing. We have to ensure that the LLEs are taken care of. We have to ensure free education. We have to ensure scholarships. We have to ensure our international airport is built right 
next to this Arab constituency. So friends, so friends, there's some of us in this Arab constituency who sometimes don't understand how government works. And I'll, I'll give you a very simple example. The United Nations Development Program, called the UNDP, is functioning within our space. But the UNDP is only functioning by the good graces and the welcoming spirit of our Dominican Labour Party. And the projects have been rolled out. And people are saying, I'm going to talk UNDP. I'm going to talk government. And it was the same story that was said after Hurricane Maria. When we, we covered homes of students, the homes of parents with students, with assistance from Digicel, with material from the Chinese government, and with small assistance from the Israel aid. And people in the Saliba constituency said that Israel aid gave them a roof. And so sometimes we take these things for granted and we say a story that is not true. But my call on you tonight, those of you from the Saliba constituency who know much better, to tell that story, to retell that story. Because all of the de development that's happening by every international agency, the IMF, the World Bank, the UNDP, the Jeff is done because the Dominican Labour Party is in office. And because, and because friends, and because these international agencies have full confidence in Dr. Honorable Roosevelt Scarry. Full confidence knowing that they can operate in a democratic state with good leadership. And so they will spare no resources to ensure that the work of the Dominican Labour Party, the work of the Cabinet of Dominica, the work of the Dominican Labour Party, and your, your work can continue in our space. Friends, friends, we have some young voters in the crowd. I can see a young voter. Young voter in the crowd. First time voter in the crowd. And so the story that you know, first time voter, is the story of 2000 and beyond. You do not know before 2000 and the Guaye we had to be in. And friends, friends, you need to tell that story to your young ones. The grandmothers who are here, you need to tell the story of labor to your grandsons. You need to tell the story of labor to your granddaughters. Because everyone thinks what's happening now with free textbook, transportation grants, computers, devices as we call it have always been here. But friends, if it was something that every government should do, why is it that only the Labour Party did it? And why have we only done it from 2000? So friends, we cannot take this election lightly. We need to take this election seriously because we are not coming with a new plan, you know. We are continuing the plan that we started in 2019. So when you read through our last manifesto, you will see all of the work that we expected to do. But however, we had a crisis. We had a pandemic. And some of you seem to have forgotten that we had a pandemic. When we had to create a new hospital in Portsmouth, we had to ensure that people got medication, had to get tested, had to get vaccines. And this has, has cost the government of Dominica millions of dollars. And so we had to have a reset. We had to have a reset, and the Prime Minister had to get a commitment from us on this stage. A commitment to work harder than we worked two and a half years ago. A commitment to work harder to ensure that we safeguard the future of our country. Friends, friends, comrades, I know we love, we love this. This is a serious party. This is a nice little CEO. We blow our horns, it's exciting times, but when all of this dies down, we want to ensure my team, the team here, the team in Salibia, the team of Roosevelt Scarry and the Dominican Labour Party needs the mandate to continue the work we started. And friends, I encourage us to continue working together.
to continue to work in together to make our country prosperous. There's a wonderful song that we have, our national anthem, that tells the story of what our country should be like. I will not sing it tonight. I will not sing part of it tonight, but you know it. We have to look out for our brothers and sisters because we know that there's a great spirit out there that guides this government. You have many different names for him, but there's a great spirit that has given the authority and the guidance to Dr. Honorable Roosevelt Scary, that given, has given the guidance to all the members of cabinet from 2019. And that great spirit is right here among us today. And I am, I'm encouraged by it. And I'm encouraged that I have the opportunity to once again serve the people of Salibia. And to remember you who are out there that the Salibia constituency begins in Wakama and ends in Pegua. And so friends, and friends, I call on you to be mindful that this is the only government who has ever cared for the people of Dominica. The only government who has ensured that your livelihoods are intact. The only government who has ensured that the first people of this country continue to get an equal share. And so we will continue to build our tourism product. We will mark this, this area as, as never before. We will continue to build homes. We will continue to build infrastructure. But friends, we also have to continue to be committed to the cause. The cause of labor. The cause of labor because, my friends, right now, labor is the only choice. So, comrades, so comrades, friends, I feel energized tonight. I feel energized tonight knowing that when you go home to your various constituencies, you will continue to spread up the, the word of labor. And you will talk to your neighbors and your friends and your brothers and your sisters and encourage them to come out on December 6th to give the vote to the Dominican Labor Party to give us the full mandate to work on, on your behalf. And friends, and friends, I feel the power of labor in this space. I feel the power of labor in this space because you are good, humble, and honest people. You are not here by chance. You, have, you, are, you are here by your own choice because you understand that the Dominican Labor Party has your interests at heart. You understand that the Dominican Labor Party is the only government with a plan to ensure our country continues to be developed. So friends, as I end tonight, I wish you safe travels back home. Uh, we have a working day tomorrow, and I, I encourage you to be safe. But I really want to invite you back into the Cairago space after this election. And I tell you, when, if you do not visit in the next six months, the next time you come back around, you'll be totally lost. Because the Kalinago territory will be transformed into a wonderful space that most people would not be able to recognize. So brothers and sisters, I thank you. I thank you, the Salibur constituency. I thank the people from Portsmouth, the North. I thank the people from Grand Bay in the South. I thank you for being here on the sacred land. I thank you for showing love and support to the Dominican Labour Party. Good night, my friends. Labour! 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 Labour!